In the series of learning programming in C, we have covered all type of operators in C and in the previous video I have discussed operator precedence and associativity. But in this video I am going to discuss some common mistakes beginners do when they start writing programs because nowadays I am getting many mails and many messages on my Instagram account like students send me a program or you can say uh, or a screenshot of that program and uh, they say that ma'am we are not able to run this program and we are not getting the exact output what is error in this program and they are committing silly mistakes like missing a semicolon or some you know spelling mistakes but they are not able to find out so i uh, thought it's better to list down all the mistakes in a video you know, all the common mistakes beginners do when they start writing programs it would be better Right, so that's exactly I will I'll, I'll be talking about in this video. All the common mistakes you do, and when you commit these type of mistakes, what error message you will get, or maybe some warning message you will get, or you will get a syntax error or a logical error. What kind of error you will you will get? Everything we'll be discussing in this video. Right, and this video is brought to you by Unacademy. On Unacademy, there is a combat going on for GATE and ESC aspirants. It's the most competitive and gamified. Gate battle. You will get a chance to compete with thousands of learners in this India's biggest fortnightly competition for Gate, and you will get a chance to attempt challenging questions by the best educators. You will get live ranking, and if you are a good ranker, then you can win exciting prizes. You can see the prizes details here. For rank one holder, three months Gate and ESC Plus subscription. For uh, rank two and three, one month Gate and ESC Plus subscription free. And for rank four and four to hundred rankers. Uh, rupees 500 amazon vouchers you will get and next compact will, will be live on 26th of uh, january what is the benefit of this thing you will come to know where you are standing in the competition how well you have prepared for your gate exam you can assess your uh, preparation for gate examination and after that if you have any uh, weak areas then you can identify your weak area weak areas and you can improve because after this compact is over then you will get a detailed video solutions of th those questions here you will get a chance to attempt challenging questions the original gate questions that was curated by the best educators on an academy and you can register freely for this to unlock this combat you can uh, you use the code jkl10 everything the detail is over here and if you are interested then you can go for it the details and the link the registration link as well as the code jkl10 i'll put in the description box of this video you can go and check out now let us discuss the common mistakes beginners do when they start writing programs very first mistakes what they do is when they write down those header files then rather than writing what stdio what they write studio studio.h this is the most common error you do you have to take care of this thing second thing is what what you write when you write main function then after that you write semicolon no it is not allowed you don't have to write semicolon after this it will give an error message like that, that uh, the declaration terminated incorrectly after main function you cannot uh, that uh, you cannot uh, put semicolon right next is let us take this example and through this i i'll, I'll uh, try to cover all the common mistakes you can uh, do one is this you can write studio root edge here and when you write studio root edge what uh, error you will get unable to open this file because there is no studio file there there is file file is what stdio root edge when you write semicolon here what error you will get declaration terminated incorrectly in this line the cursor would be in this line after this line right All right next error what you can do see after these statements you forgot to write semicolon so you have to take care of this thing after every statements you need to write you need to put semicolon yeah some some lines are there where you don't need to put semicolon but when you write a pro when you write programs when you will get habitual of writing programs then automatically you will come to know it it it, it will be in your practice you don't have to memorize these things right you can understand where you have to put semicolon and where you need not to put semicolon sometimes you can do what a spelling mistake of this clear screen also you have to take care of this thing and sometimes what you do of you have written what printf enter two numbers i am asking from the user to enter two numbers right i am not initializing the data here i am just declaring the variables a b and sum now in scanner function what you do percentage d percentage d this is for what uh, format specifier for integer because i am going to take two integers that is why i am writing two times two times percentage d so sometimes you write semicolon here this will give you logical error not syntax error it will accept only one value and then it will uh, take some garbage value right next is you don't have to put like some, uh, this this here you forgot to put comma here this will give you syntax error compile time error you will get right so you have to put comma after this uh, closing of this quotation mark right 
Sometimes you forgot to uh, write, uh, put to put comma here. That will also give compile time error. You like the illegal use of pointer, right here. So you have to put comma here. Sometimes you do what? You do what? The the, the closing of these quotation mark after this line. This will what? This will give what? That uh, logical error. Now, next what you can do in printf in this when you print the output on the screen, then what you can do sum is and you forgot to put here percentage d. Because in, in this printf, I am not uh, putting any percentage d. This is what I am just writing. I am just, I just, I just want that on the screen, the message should be displayed like enter two numbers, right? That's it. So, no need to write down any percentage d or any format specifier. But here, you want to print, print output. So, output should be fast from the memory. Which kind of output? According to that, you need to put format specifier. The output is in the form of? The data type is integer. So, that is why we are using percentage D. So, if you forgot to use percentage D here, then what error message you will get? So, you will not get any error message at compile time. What you will get? At, at run time, you will not get any output. It will ask you, the output would be enter two numbers. You will enter two numbers like two or three. When you put, when you press that enter key, then what would should be printed? Sum is, that's it, equal to. No sum would be printed like numbers is 2 and 3. So, sum is equal to 5 that should be printed. But it will print only sum is equal to no 5 because it is not able to fetch any data from memory. You have to use format specifier for that. Sometimes you forgot to place here comma that will give you an error message. And which kind of error message? Function call missing. That cursor would be here in this line and here the function call missing. So, you have to put comma here. Sometimes students do what they write? This, this can if you write what address of operator m percent they write m percent here but you don't need to write m percent here illegal use of pointer right when you uh, printing the output means no need to use these address of operators in printf we use address of operators in scanf scanf is used what to get input from the user so that is why if we take input like 2 and 3 2 and 3 for this a and b then obviously we have to store these inputs in memory some address, some memory address has been assigned to variables A and B. So, which memory address? Though that address, this address of operator will fetch. That this address of operator will tell address of A. And then 2 would be stored here. This will tell address of B, where the variable B is. And then value would be stored here. That is why we are using here address of operator. Right. And sometimes you forget to close this, these braces. This is a simple program, but when we, we will discuss the more advanced concept like control statements, loops in C and arrays, pointers, everything, then program should be lengthy and in that program we will be uh, writing these braces multiple times. So, for every opening braces, there should be a closing braces. You need to take care of these braces also, right. So, these are I think these silly mistakes or common mistakes uh, generally students or beginners do when they start writing uh, programs. but if you think that there can be some more mistakes and or, or uh, as a beginner you have committed some mistakes so you can write down those mistakes in the comment box so that other students can get help they can avoid they can uh, you know uh, take precautions like these kind of mistakes can be uh, you know you, we can commit so uh, that's it for this video now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care